I'm thinking like, do I have enough food in the freezer? Do I have enough soap and water? Do I have enough batteries for a flashlight? You know what I mean? I literally went to Costco and got some like flashlights and shit. So if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering how I lost my job for two weeks. And basically this morning I woke up, all right? I woke up and got ready for the gym. And as, as I was going to the gym, I actually got a text message from a friend and she emailed me or she basically messaged me and showed me that our mayor, I th yeah, our mayor kind of like signed this thing where all bars, all restaurants and gyms are going to be closed down for two weeks. So basically today at 5 p.m., till march 31st and knowing this i'm kind of excited i'm like oh cool mini vacation you know what i'm saying but at the same time i just came from a two-month vacation okay in this two-month vacation that i had i was literally just working on myself working on stuff online producing videos whatever and now that i was back at work i was kind of getting in the flow of things again you know what i'm saying i was like i was doing work i was working as a server and working in the restaurant industry again and kind of getting the getting the hard labor in if you will and at the same time i was kind of happy that you know a paycheck is coming in and i'm making some money so what this gets me to my point all right it's so important to save up for an emergency fund okay so i already used some of my emergency fund for my mini vacation or my two-month vacation that's not really a mini vacation that's a fucking vacation anyway so my two-month vacation i already used some of my emergency fund keep in mind i do have more money in my emergency fund to last me two weeks of not working and there is almost a, a comfort in knowing that, hey, I do have the funds to support myself in these two weeks. But there's also a little bit of fear thinking that everyone is freaking out. Everyone is freaking out. Okay, the, I went to Walmart. I went to Costco. I went to Fred Meyers. I even called Walgreens. None of them have alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And alcohol is one of those disinfectants that actually kills the germ of the virus. You know what I'm saying? But nobody has alcohol for cleaning or killing the germs. But luckily, there was some hydrogen peroxide at Walmart, and I took the last six bottles, okay? So I was very fortunate about that. And keep in mind, peroxide actually does kill the virus. I looked it up, okay? So if you guys don't have any alcohol in your store, get some peroxide. And also, just wash your mother freaking hands, all right? There's this one article that actually says that if you wash your hands, it's more... If you just wash your hands, it's more effective than using whatever, Germex or hand sanitizer. So just go out washing your hands, guys. Just... That's, use soap and water so they closed the gym and i'm kind of sad about that because when i was on my two month vacation every day i'd be hitting the gym you know what i mean that would be kind of like my vacation it was therapy for me it was soothing for me it was good for the mind and body you know what i'm saying so after my workout today i went to walmart got myself a bunch of gym sets i even got myself one of those pull-up bars and i'm probably gonna do some at-home workouts for the next two weeks and definitely gonna walk my dog out like for an hour a day or something as my cardio and I'm kind of curious on how this two weeks is going to affect me physically. But I already know how it's going to affect me financially. Like, I'm not going to make any money in this two weeks. But at the same time, again, I do have an emergency fund that's going to sustain me. But here's my fear. Okay, here's my fear that I wanted to get at. They just closed down work and the gym for two weeks. What would happen if they said, hey, you know what? Let's close down the grocery stores. Let's close down the fucking the gas stations. You know what I mean? Like, let's just close everything down for two weeks. And that almost made me go into panic mode. I'm, I'm thinking like, do I have enough food in the freezer? Do I have enough soap and water? Do I have enough batteries for a flashlight? You know what I mean? I literally went to Costco and got some like flashlights and shit. But I do have like everything else that I need, like a little bit of food and detergent and cleaner and all that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's just a whole bunch of goodness that I got at Costco. I probably spent like 300 something bucks today. 350? Yeah, if I looked at my receipts. I spent around 350 dollars, $300.50 on workout equipment and sup cleaning supplies and a little bit of food, you know what I mean? I do have a lot of food inside of the freezer. Yeah, hopefully that's that's enough, you know, but man, this is just crazy. 2 weeks of no work and no gym. That that's that's honestly what pisses me off, or not pisses me off, but that's what bums me out the most is the fact that there's no gym for 2 weeks. It's going to be so different trying to work out at home. You know what I mean? I guess the whole point of this video is just me ranting and just talking shit about coronavirus. <laughs> All right, guys. Coronavirus is not going to kill you unless you have a terrible immune system. More people, people who are older, who has a weaker immune system, or even babies who has a weaker immune system, 
then you are more likely to get affected by this coronavirus. Other than that, guys, just wash your mother freaking hands, all right? And be be mindful of of what you're doing and the people you're interacting with. If somebody freaking coughs in front of you, don't go be like, <gasps> let me inhale that shit. You know what I mean? Don't don't be stupid. And just cover your, cover your mouth when you cough. And it's common sense stuff, guys. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll probably. I'll probably do more videos on an update on how it's like this two weeks of being quarantined-ish. But if you guys are watching, if you guys are in Alaska and you're watching this, how do you feel about this, this, this silliness of this coronavirus? I don't, I don't blame the mayor. Like seriously, I understand 100%. It's like, it's better to be safe than sorry. But I also do feel like the media is selling fear. You know what I mean? These fear mongers and like people are just just freaking out in stores and all that buying more than they actually need you know other than that guys you know what god is good god is great god is all powerful and all of this mayhem just remember that what's important is that we all stick together you know what i mean we take care of each other and that's what's important really anyways guys once again comment down below if you guys are in alaska and you're going through this if this affected you how does it affect you p.s where can i get some rubbing alcohol seriously where can i get some mother freaking rubbing alcohol because that's convenient, you know what I mean? If you have a, like a little hairspray, not hairspray, but a, a spray bottle with alcohol, that's basically sanitizer right there. And you can just spray your hands, spray your doorknobs, spray your, I don't even know, spray, 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 spray your car seat because somebody with coronavirus farted on it. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Remember guys, whatever you're going through, strive to be better. F the average and be yourself. As always, God bless you and have a blessed day ever. I, I, I,